In today's fight news, we start off with former light heavyweight champion Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill approaching current light heavyweight champion Alex Poetan Pereira asking for a signature for a hoodie that he's having signed by all the fighters on this weekend's monumental UFC 300 event. During this brief encounter, both fighters were cordial and even joked around a little bit when Hill asked Pereira what Chama means. Per Shock MMA, former light heavyweight champion Glover Teixeira shared his thoughts on Jamal Hill seeking advice from former Alex Pereira opponent Israel Adesanya in which he stated, if you think about the fight, Izzy beat Alex that one night, but how many times is that going to go to his side? I don't see that happening often. He's a great fighter, and for sure, if he's in anyone's corner, he's going to help, but it's just help because of the experience, but it's not going to be anything magical. It looks like the UFC store is selling official custom shorts ahead of the UFC 300 event for the following fighters, Max Holloway, Zhang Wei Li, Alex Pereira, and Justin Gaethje. One fighter in particular, Max Blessed Holloway, posted on his ex account, you guys asked and the UFC delivered. Mac Life, former featherweight king Max Holloway, spoke on recent comments made by the lightweight champion Islam Makachev, in which he stated he can't get a fight. You should have fought Justin in February. Why did the guy you knocked out turn around so fast to fight in February when you were healthy? You should have turned around in February. Everyone knew that you can't fight in Ramadan. He's complaining like, I can't get fights. I'm like, you're only fighting around the times that you want to fight. Full Violence on X posted a sick picture of former lightweight champion Charles Oliveira and former light heavyweight champion Yuri Prohaska signing posters for the upcoming UFC 300 event. Jedi Goodman also posted a picture on X of former PFL champion Kayla Harris, who was also seen signing posters ahead of the UFC 300 event. As we reported on yesterday's episode, Interim heavyweight champion Tom Aspinall was recently on an episode of the MMA Hour in which he called out Cyril Gaon for ducking him and Sergey Pavlich, stating, He's dismissed me on multiple occasions, and I'm not the first guy that he's dismissed. The reason that I got the Pavlovich fight was because Cyril didn't want it, so he ducked Pavlovich. The former interim champion Cyril Gaon clapped back on X, stating, I never, ever say no to any challenge or any opponent. Blades was never an option. They, the UFC, said Pavlovich. I said yes. Don't worry. I'll see you in September. Stop tripping. Per his Instagram account, welterweight standout Ian Machado Gary says that he's signed to fight Colby Covington and he's waiting on Colby to sign the contract, stating... I just want to let everyone know I have agreed to fight Colby Covington. There is a date in place. Colby still hasn't signed the contract. As we reported on yesterday's episode, former middleweight champion Sean Strickland was offered a bout with Paulo Costa at UFC 302. Recently on X, the former champ shared some details about this offer, stating, Out of curiosity, what do you guys think I was offered to fight Costa on seven weeks notice? Base contract. A fan replied, 200k for show, 200k for win, 10k fight week incentive. In which Strickland replied, close but less, lol. Strickland also posted on his ex-account, Here's the thing guys, UFC isn't the NFL or the NBA, it's absolutely cutthroat. You don't leave this sport happy or well. If I fought Jake Paul, one, I'd murk him, but two, we'd make millions. Something you guys experience at your jobs. The pay gap just keeps getting wider. As we reported on an earlier episode, Chris, the action man Curtis, suffered a grade three hamstring tear during his UFC Vegas 90 main event with Brendan Allen. 
Well, now it looks like he's going to have to have surgery per his ex account. He stated, well, looks like I'll see you guys in six months or so. It's been real. Thank you guys for all the thoughts, messages, encouragement, concern, and prayers. Means the world to me. See you all in the fall. And we leave you with a new fight announcement. As middleweights, Roman Kopilov and Cesar Almeida face off at UFC 302 on June 1st. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.